One video down there, one video uploading there. Let's eat. So this is actually like two thirds of a scoop, I was gonna say half a scoop, about two thirds of a scoop of each. Salt caramel and chocolate smooth. So we've essentially got chocolate caramel smooth or salted caramel smooth. Salted chocolate caramel smooth. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Smells good. You know what that tastes like? That tastes like two thirds of a scoop of salted caramel and two thirds of a scoop of chocolate smooth mixed into one. Friggin' madness, mate. Hot though, fucking hot. five minutes ago so I need another one. So the last time I went to a barber's was, when would it have been? What, six, six, seven, eight weeks ago? Something like that. So you're missing my usual barber treatment, which is the before and after. Smashed it. So, just before we proceed, just before we continue, with this fantastic video that you've already liked and that we've already hit 60, 65, maybe even 70 likes on. We have, we, we, we haven't, okay, that's, that's awkward, but you should probably like it so that we do. Just, you know, I, I have genuinely noticed that videos do better if they get that amount um, from you guys. So please help a brother out because, you know, daily content and all that. So every single week for the past three, four weeks now, um, I've done a competition. This is a competition to get you guys up and about and thinking and active because obviously not everybody is going to have a super duper motivated kind of mindset right now um, myself included at times um, however what I wanted to provide was just a little kind of friendly competition you know every single week an LSJ competition where I pick an exercise you guys make it as creative adventurous and, and, and fantastic and weird and wonderful as possible we've had chickens we've had coke cans we've had bloody TikToks the lot so this week's challenge was a shoulder press challenge and we had a fair few fantastic entries, people. This was probably one of the harder weeks to pick purely because a lot of entries were quite similar um, because I suppose there's only a certain amount that you can do when you're just pushing above your head, right? However, the winner is a regular commenter, a fantastic supporter, a t-shirt owner, Mr. Graham Minards. This week, you have won, my friend, with the up and down, up and down. Play the sound. Up and down, up and down, up and down. He recruited his daughter into it. I'm pretty sure his wife would have been filming it. It was just an all round family endeavor. And that is kind of what I wanted with this whole kind of challenge thing, right? 
making the videos for me, like the Olympic one, kept myself, my mum and my dad amused for an entire day and then me amused for the entire next day editing it. It was just a kind of communal effort. And that's what I liked about this one. So congratulations, my friend, you have won. Either yourself or get the wife to, to send me a message um, and we will sort your prize out. So that leads me on to this week's competition. Now, it's slightly different, people. It's not a specific exercise. It's more of a specific muscle group. What I wanna see from you guys this week is an ab exercise. Your favorite exercise with whatever you have at home. For you can grab the shaker that you have and go side to side. I don't, I don't know. Um, in fact, scratch that. Make it completely creative, over the top. TikTok, just don't injure yourself. I don't know. Do something as long as you are primarily working the abs that is the goal for this week so I've got a special video kind of coming tomorrow wait and stay tuned for that it's gonna be worth it you will have this week and this week only Tuesday through to Sunday to open uh, not open to enter your entries to send in your entries via Instagram and I'll pick a winner for next week every single week a person wins a excuse me I'm really sorry that just came out of nowhere it tasted like Lodo though I had that for dinner mm. Anyway, a 200, so disgusting, a 250 gram bag of protein, my protein of their choice, whatever flavor, as long as it's in stock and it's a 250 gram size bag, it's yours people. So get entering. And with that said, let's have a little bit of a chat about that. So here we have it people, here is the list. This is the um, thing that I keep referring to on a daily basis at this point in time. It is actually, what is the date? It's the 27th. So as of today, I'm actually supposed to be 171 pounds. Oops, I am not. I am a pound heavier than that. I'm 172.2. Is that a big deal? No. Is it ideal? Again, no. But am I going to panic about it? Again, no. I believe that I'm on track. I will keep up the cardio as much as I possibly can. Tweaked my hamstring the other day, so it's gonna be done via walking and stuff like that, um, which is not great, it's not ideal. However, it's also not the end of the world. I'm not gonna whine about it too much. I've got the pulse roll, um, and I'm just gonna do everything I can to kind of recover it as fast as I can. Um, not training the legs and all that kind of stuff. I stopped the session immediately. No biggie, we'll be back to normal within the next few days, I should imagine. It's just a little bit of a, it feels, it almost feels a little bit bruised. It's a bit weird. It's not like a, it's not like a strain or a tear or anything. I hope it's not a tear. It honestly, just right now, feels bruised. It feels damaged. And so I'm just going to leave it to repair for a little while. It's as simple as that. That might be a bit difficult to do, though, with this video that I want to do tomorrow, which I'm very, 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 very excited about. What do you guys think about Thor's 501 kilo deadlift, huh? Let me know tomorrow, I suppose. Boom. And there we have it, people. Well, 171.8, it's a high 171s, but... Risk of TMI, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I've not even been for a dump yet. So this is the following day of my panic, not so panic last night. And we're good, I think. Especially when you consider the fact that I haven't done cardio for um, two days now because of my hamstring thing, whatever the hell it is, which feels a little bit better this morning, by the way. So I'm hoping that if I rest up this morning, keep all swollen and stretching and all this kind of stuff, then by this afternoon, I'll be able to film the video that I want to post tomorrow and it'll be okay because obviously I have to film it today to post it tomorrow, so. Hmm. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. <laughs>
the tools available to me, i.e. Um, jogging bottoms to keep my legs warm and pulse roll and stretching and that's pretty much it and just rest and like no bike and stuff. We still managed to hit new low ends even though we've not done cardio and stuff which is great. What I've basically done to kind of combat the extra 200 cals, 300 cals that I would have burned, maybe 400. I just decreased my calorie intake for the past couple of days and it's kind of balanced out calories in versus calories out that is ultimately what it comes down to right people overcomplicate weight loss there's multiple ways that you can lose weight whether you want to do it through diet whether you want to do it through cardio whether you want to do it through both more often than not i do it through both but a lot from cardio because i like with some food so i don't need an awful lot of calories as it is in order to gain weight and so I need to keep my calories low just as a fairly general rule, that's just specific to me. 2,300 and I, I, I kind of steadily lose weight on that. If I get to like 2,500, 2,600, I'll probably start maintaining and actually probably gaining weight. Anyway, we shall save that for another time. What I'm trying to say is that I've decreased my, my body weight by decreasing calories rather than increasing cardio, if that makes sense. So rather than burning more, I'm just consuming less and it kind of levels out to the same. It's not going to be forever, I'll go back to consuming a little bit more when I can do a little bit more cardio again, which will be this afternoon. So, one thing I have not talked about specifically um, on the channel for probably a good couple of weeks now, which is a bit weird considering it is the general direction of the channel right now, um, is summer shredding, right? Um, Christian Guzman's summer shredding competition, I'm doing the online version of the competition. Um, that has now been delayed. So this list was kind of based around that because I was going to diet until body power, uh, which was meant to be May 12th, what date was it? May 15th, 16th and 17th. Obviously the current situation that is now delayed until the end of October, Halloween weekend, which is kind of cool. I think that could be kind of cool if that still goes ahead. Um, so it's still in the back of my mind that that might not, but let's hope that things are slightly more back to normal by then. Um, I'm doing the online competition, uh, which was kind of based around these dates, right? Once I reached the 12th of May, which is a Monday, and then the body power would have been on the Friday, which is the 15th, lots of dates coming at you right now. I need to simplify this. Once that body power week came around, I was going to take a week off of the diet. It's my birthday around that time. I was going to do eating challenges. I was going to do just, just a lot of stuff that would require me relaxing with the diet for a little bit. Plus, I would have dieted for like 12 weeks at that point, and I can just afford to have a little bit more time off before the mid-July, what it was, summer shredding date, right? So that would have given me another kind of nine, 10 weeks to lose another nine, 10 pounds after that for the original summer shredding date, which is now delayed until mid-October, I think. So it makes it more difficult because we don't actually have a final date, which means that you can't necessarily plan for a certain date. Like they don't know when the competition is gonna be because they don't know how this is gonna turn out. And so they can't be like, it's October 15th and October 15th comes around and the restrictions haven't been lifted or whatever. So they can't give us a date which makes it more difficult for us, but then it's also completely out of everyone's control and so you kind of just have to deal with it, you know? So what I'm going to do in the meantime is stick to these dates here that we went through a little bit earlier. I'll go through that in a little bit more depth next week because that will be 10 weeks. So I'm going to upload a 10 week um, diet transformation for myself. Um, my progress over the last 10 weeks and physique transformation, all this kind of stuff, that will be coming next week, obviously, because that is the 10th week. Everything is kind of up in the air in a minute. And that is the case with, with just general life as, as well as this. So when you pick when you picture, I keep pointing up here, I'm, I hope I'm pointing in the right place. When you put everything into kind of perspective, the, the reality of me hitting those dates is not big. It's not a big deal, you know? I still want to out of principle because I can, I should, and so I will. By the time body power comes around, the original dates, I will be at 169 pounds. You, you mark my words. All I want is 169.9. I want 169 rather than 170 on that scales. If it says, 169.9999999999. I will take that. So in the meantime, I've just got to do everything in my power to do that. And when we hit those dates, when we hit those times, um, we'll readjust accordingly because nobody knows what's gonna happen. And that is a bit of a weird thing, right? That's a weird feeling. Us humans are creatures of habit. We like to know what's going on and when and how and what we can do about it. That is just our nature. That is just human nature. And that's out of our control at the minute. So what I want you guys to do is focus on what you can control. 
If you can't control your training because your gym is closed, focus more so on your diet. That can be your key factor to boom. Keep you on track a little bit more. Go for those walks, go for those runs, get involved with the challenges and it'll help. It's a weird situation because everyone is in the same boat, but also everyone is in a completely different boat because so-and-so has got this and so-and-so can't do this and so-and-so can't do this. Everyone has their own kind of things, you know? So just do everything in your power to stay on track with everything that you want, whether it's work, school, gym, whatever. The list goes on and on, and on you know? So I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, please do me a massive favour, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'm going to be training like Thor. Like half Thor Beyonce. You know the guy that's going to deadlift to 501 kilos? That's the video. I'm going to do my best too anyway, because of the old hamstring and the deadlifts. Just, just, doesn't quite go, does it? But we shall see. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's smash 65. I'm up in the target, people. Let's smash 65 likes on this video. I want that target annihilated. I want it annihilated. I want it smashed out the park. So if you haven't already, and you're still watching at this point in time in the video and you haven't dropped a like, come on, help a brother out. It takes two seconds, costs you nothing, and it genuinely, genuinely helps build that momentum that we are looking for. The friggin' momentum. The friggin' momentum. <laughs> Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I hope you are well. I hope you are safe. Please stay safe. And I will see you tomorrow. Just hoping that my hamstring doesn't twang, you know? But hey, gotta do it for the tubes.